Hey everybody, it's me, Dracometer, and I am back again with another custom map on Minecraft. So, in today's custom map, we are playing The Legend of Willow Valley. Also notice that I didn't actually look up there, did I? Hmm. Okay, well anyways... So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and read you the story that the map maker has put on the download page for you to get an idea of what to expect. So, let's begin. Alright, so follow an immersive story through a fully voiced and highly detailed world. You receive a strange letter from an unknown person. The letter reads, To you, the greatest explorer, I have been told. Please come to these lands of wonder and gold. Come to these lands so far away, for there is a sacred pond where the fairies stray. I have been searching for this sacred land for such a while. I have grown old now and rarely smile. The name is called Willow Valley, and it has taken my whole life, but I am close now, and wanted to know where it lies. So follow the map from within this letter. When you are here, we will find it together. P.S. Come and find me. Okay, so, sounds like a good story, but first, a couple little things that I do want to make sure that you know. Before you go ahead and play this map, you want to know these things, all right? So don't go anywhere. I'm going to tell you these. Okay, so it says, attention, this map is one player only. Play in 1.13.2 only. Please don't use any mods, shaders, or optifying. If you do, the map will not work properly. And if you want to go ahead and download the map, it is down in the description for you to download and try out for yourself. Highly recommend you try it out before you uh, see me go through it. Of course, I guess in a way if you get stuck you can watch this. Or, of course, you can play it. Come back, watch me play it, and then get two experiences for the price of one. And, technically, for the price of free. So, anyways... You're probably noticing some stuff here. So this map is made by Mick underscore five, which was the person who made the haunting of lot twenty one. One of one of the um, really really good custom maps that we played on this channel. I really like that one, and I like the experience of it. It's there's far and few from really um, experiences that you could kind of go back to and think are significantly important. Uh, this person's also made quite a few custom maps. So maybe we'll try out some of the other ones. Not make any promises here, but we did play The Haunting of Lot 21. Awesome map. Highly suggest you go play it. Highly suggest you go watch my playthrough, because that was a really fun one to make too. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the more important settings, too. So, of course, important to immerse you into the world. Music off. Got that. Note blocks, jukebox, voice speech, and all of that, 100%. Yep. Settings up. And have music off if you don't, which I always usually do. Voice speech, 100. Okay. Then you're only playing 50% of the map if you don't have those things. Okay, no, particles to minimal. It will prevent some lag, and important particles will still appear. I don't think I need that because I have a pretty good computer. If you are interested, there you go. But anyways, um, render distance must be 11 or you'll encounter bugs. I've done that. I turn off auto jump always. Play on medium or hard. Medium recommended. I think it is on medium. Yep, normal. Unless it means... Yeah, it should be normal. Turn off tooltips. 
Yep, that's something I didn't do last time. I remember the chicken not being chicken and and stuff like that. Only one player. Are these like, are these toaster symbols or are these death symbols? Are these like not toaster but like little toasts with face toasts with faces? Or are these some smiley supposed to be smiley faces or are they little skulls? I don't know. I think they're little skulls, but they look like little toasts with faces on them. Just just something to think about. You know, it helps immerse you. Anyways, we have the texture pack on. I don't know if you can notice. Kind of is reminiscent of uh, Lot 21. Oh, I'm seeing a Lot 21, rather. Anyways, um, let's see then. So here's a tutorial. Uh, before, you start pre uh, before you start, press this button. All right, press this button for a quick tutorial on how to play this map recommended. We're going to do that. Play Minecraft version 1.13.2. You can skip the tutorial if you like. It will help knowing the game mechanics of this map. Yeah, so, but it will help knowing, uh, with knowing the mechanics. And of course, here is the credits for those of who have, whom are included in this map's resources and such and are utilized in the game. Yep, so there you go. All credits to them, sound based or voiced, and all the rest. Okie doke. Let's get started. I'm not sure what, what's going to happen, but begin the tor tutorial by entering through the door you opened. All right. Sounds interesting. You could push single blocks and double blocks in this map. Try pushing each onto the golden blocks on the ground to open the door. Also, make sure you turned off auto jump. All right, let's try it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay. You might find other things you can push in this map, like gravestones, bookshelves, and sand blocks, etc. Climb to the top of the pillar, do a running jump towards the red cross below while holding forward. Don't press jump or shift when landing, and you will bounce onto the ledge. It's just a slime block is what I'm thinking, unless they did levitation. Alright. You open the iron door below. Hey. Ow. All right. Pick up the note, and when it is in your inventory, place your cursor over it and read some more. Tutorial note. Yes, always put your cursor over the note to read it. You might find some that contain passcodes. All right. I remember that. Whenever stuck in a room in a dungeon and there looks like no escape, always look everywhere for a button, lever, or a block. You can push like the button on the ceiling above your head that you can shoot with an arrow. Okay. When submerged in water, you can swim through a one block gap. Swim down to the one block gap and tap twice on the W button quickly to enter swim mode. When uh, Then swim through the gap to reach the exit on the other side. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. All awesome mechanics, which I've always wanted to make my own map and put them in. But okay. This map is very interactive. Try right-clicking on anything in the map that looks suspicious, like the red button. Sometimes you might need to click on a door with a certain type of key to open it as well. You'll find some ropes you can climb up and down throughout the map. Walk up to it, hold W, press spacebar while looking up to climb. I didn't have to press spacebar. You open the door below, continue to the next room. Okay, come on. Woohoo, we're sliding down. Alright. Oh, this looks like a new area. Okay. Always look around for hidden levers, buttons, or sand you can dig when you see a locked gate or a door like the one into the right of the exit. Oh, thank you. 
This is very cool. Sometimes things that look solid can be fake, like the block ahead. Oh, wow, that is interesting. That is interesting. You have completed the quick tutorial. If you are all set, you can press the button to start the map. Alright, what button? Oh, over here. Okay. Press to start. Let's go ahead. The Legend, the legend of Willow, Willow Valley. Valley. Okay, this sounds cool. Since it's voiced, I'm not really going to voice anything but my own character unless the they voice story. it for me. You have been searching for an ancient place. Many believe it doesn't exist, but you believe otherwise. So you set off on your quest to find this sacred place, only to find yourself stuck with no way forward. And this is where your story begins. All right. You have lived here for around five months now and still have not found a way to open those doors or no way to reach that cave up there. But every day you keep searching. Well, it's getting late. I should go inside and go to bed. Enter your house and click on the bed to go to sleep. We'll do that in just a moment. I hope it doesn't kill me if I don't do it right this second. I just like to look for Easter eggs every once in a while, see if there's anything around here. Especially considering uh, recording this is kind of a little bit close to Easter, so uh, what better way to time to look for an Easter egg, right? I thought there might be an Easter egg, but I'm thinking otherwise right now. I'm thinking otherwise. <coughs> Ow. Ooh, acacia sampling. Jungle sampling. I'm not gonna keep them. Spruce. Birch. Nice. Oh, little heads. Cool. Ooh, chairs. Hey. And they're directional, too. Sink. Oven. Bridge, microwave, dishwasher, cabinets, books, cake, chairs. Um, here we go. Ooh, a computer. What is this? What is this here? That's a creeper. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. Oh, look at all that texture and stuff on there. That's really cool. Okay, enough being mesmerized by the by the picture. You fall asleep instantly. day, and after many months of searching for clues, it is now winter. Now winter? Whoa! I should go out and see if I can climb up to the cave now the snow has built up a bit. Alright. Looks like some ice has built up near the cave. I should be able to reach the entrance now. Alright. Oh, cool. Interesting, a lever in here. Where's the tripwire? A book? Opening the way by original a button in a tree Mysterious sapling a fast-growing sapling plant in winter winter Read the book and entrance will be revealed 
To enter through the doors below, plant this sapling where there's no snow. Plant it between the posts and it will grow. Plant it now while it's still winter, then come back in spring and you can climb the tall sapling. This is really simple. I like it. I'm not getting lost or anything and I know exactly what to do. Alright. Well, it's getting night. Now, I have to pl now that I've planted the sapling, I should get some sleep. Uh, yeah, that's all you kind of do, isn't it? Alright. Fall asleep instantly. That's a regular thing. It is morning, and after many months, winter has ended and spring has arrived. Ah, spring is here. Well, time to go out and see if the sapling has finally grown. Well, after looking out the window, it seems that it has been so. It looks like that sapling was kind of magical after all, growing this tree in only a few months. Wow. Finally open the doors. Well, time to see what lies ahead and continue searching for the sacred Willow Valley. Oh, wow. I wonder where this leads to. Hmm. Well, looks like there's no turning back now. Whoa, is that a minecart track? Maybe I should get in the minecart and see where it leads. Now, I am in the minecart. I should press the button. I hope the minecart is safe. Whoa. Oh no. I started to cave in. Those doors. Open those doors. Hold on. Keep it together, Draco, my dear. You can do this. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Sheesh. That did surprise me. Quite a bit. That was all of a sudden. Does he have nothing to say? Now where am I? I better look around. I got a feeling. Nope. Oh, here. Oh. What? What's that? There's a door. How do we get it open? Oh, there we go. Found it. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. Sheesh. Yes, the door opened. Press F3 and D to gather to clear the chat. Remember that this can be handy to clear text that is no longer useful. Okay, that's what I usually do anyway. Alright. Hmm. Oh, that's a high waterfall. 
Well, I better go down. It has to lead somewhere. Now, let's just figure out where we're going here. Also, I don't see any saturation here, but I'm in, uh, I'm in normal difficulty, so interesting. I guess I better go through here. Whoa. This is a strong current. Is it wow or is it whoa? Whoa. Oh, no, I know what whoa is. Yeah, I, I just said whoa. I, I wasn't reading it when I said whoa. I was just uh, surprised by it. And then I read the rest. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's see. Okay. Oh. Well, there's no way back now. Time to keep moving and continue searching for this sacred place called the Legend of Willow Valley. Oh, a parrot. Arrgh. A stranger comes to our lands. If you want to enter the windmill, you need to see the strange man in the house here, if you can. Where'd you go? Icewind Valley. Ooh, levitation? Green Shake restores your hunger bar. Flame Grilled Chicken. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I wish I could zoom. You can't use Optifine. Yeah. Alright. Wow, look at the scenery here. It's so cool. Okay, that might have been... Might have been all. I'm thinking that was it. Alright. So before we can, uh... Almost forgot. Follow the blue flowers. Okay. A stranger comes to the lands. If you want to do the windmill, you need to see the strange man in the house here. If you can. Alright, so I follow the blue flowers and that'll get us to our place. What's that? Is that one of the map creators? Okay. Blue flowers. These mushrooms are so cool. Uh, where are the blue flowers? I see a purple flower. I see a lot of red flowers. Whoa. There we go. Oh, I didn't know there was some out here. Okay. I already got this one, I think. Yep. Ooh. Be here. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Melons. Huh. Okay. I have been watching Whoa. you, and I give you credit for getting this far. But to go any further would be foolish without a weapon and some armor. What do you mean to go any further? How do you know I'm going any further or where I'm even going? <laughs> I know you're searching for this sacred place. It is the only reason to travel these lands, and many trials await if you continue. Now do you have any questions? Left click, left click on a question. How would I continue to this land from here then? How do I acquire a weapon and armor then? You said there are many trials ahead. What do you mean? Alright. I'm going to ask how do I acquire a weapon and armor then? There's my old sword in the windmill you can have. 
but you will need to search the ancient pyramid for armor. Alright. Can we click, click on any of these other ones? How would I continue to this land from here then? Go to the windmill and take the torches. Then you can enter Black Wall Cave that leads to the pyramid. Then you would need to open the gate to Willow Creek Valley, which can only be opened from within the pyramid. You said there are many trials ahead. What do you mean? Oh, yes. Once you leave here and head through Black Wall Cave, you will be on dangerous ground. It would be a good idea to find all the armor in the pyramid if you wish to survive. All right. Ooh, crafting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Wow. I should go to the windmill then. Continue on with my quest. Why exactly do I need to go that way? Oh, looky here. Okay, so, let's go ahead and go to the windmill. I'm sure it's not going to just be a walk in the park, though. Let's see. How do we enter this thing? There we go. A downward pass passage. Us. <coughs> Ouch. Oh, ender chest. I'm gonna have enough room for stuff. I still have coins. You open the gate below. Okay, let's go ahead and try that out. Oh. Huh. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna store some stuff in here. I don't exactly know if I'm gonna need all of this right at the moment. That should be good enough storage. Keep us prepared. That's if they actually allow us to use another one. Ooh, rusty old sword. Great! I have an old rusty sword. Better than nothing, I suppose. Now, I should keep looking for those torches before I leave this windmill. Alright. Let's find your torches. Oh, here they are. Place in the torch holders in the black cave to light up the way. Okay, now I should head towards the cave. I think it was near where I first spoke to that parrot. Yep, I know where it is. Though, so, you can put it back here. That is so cool. Okay, enough of that. I really wish they had something like that actually in the game. Oh, what are you doing here? Behind me is Black Wall Cave. Continue through and you will reach the pyramid. You will need to pay a toll to enter the pyramid, but I'm sure a great adventurer like you will figure something out. Good luck. All right. Let's continue then. Oh, little chickens, and, uh... Are those supposed to be birds, too? I think they are. Cool. What's that? Okay, more chickens. Huh. That's cute. And I like that they're kind of 3D models. Alright. Let's go ahead. Also, I wonder 
Nope, that looks just like, uh, yeah. What happens if we go without placing a torch? I'm gonna torch it anyway. Okay, a little parkour here, huh? Actually, I saw another way I could do it, too. But, you know. Let's go ahead and torch. Torch this place up. This place is creepy. Of course, if they made a lot of, uh, the Haunted Lot of 21, then, uh, I guess I do know how to do creepy maps. I like this theme. This is really good. Whoa. What in the heck? Ow. Oh, sheesh. There's even more, I think. Let's just light this whole cave up. That's our journey mission, right? Oh, this is creepy. It's creepy, even though I have lightness all the way up, right? Yeah, I do. It's a skeleton, but without anything. I'm just happy he doesn't have a bow. Let me just say that. Ow. Sheesh. Why is he so fast? The creature dropped a stone button key. That's why. Interesting. Let's just eat this. For now. Oh, phew. Though I don't feel like I should be feeling few. I should be feeling far in between, but not few. Ugh. That's creepy. Let's just keep going. Okay. What is this? Also, why do I need a key? That doesn't make much sense to me. There's a button here. What am I going to need a key for? Oh. Shifting Sand Valley. Oh. This is interesting. Didn't that strange man say I would need to pay a toll at the pyramid to enter? I better go and check it out. Oh. Oh, no. Is that a mummy? A zombie villager. Ow. Ah. Got stuck in sand there. Whoa. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm gonna look at the edges. See if we could find some secrets. Ooh. Okay, we'll have to check that out later. Right now I'm interested in just checking the places around here. Ooh, looky there. Ah, ah. Quick. Hey, I got an idea. I got an idea. Ha <laughs> ha. I got you stuck in sand. Yes. Alright, let's grab these coins. Well, I guess we've kind of... Uh, walked around here a lot, so might as well check out some of these things. First, I want to go here. Yes, golden coins. Alright, let's go over here then. Hmm. Wait, let's check up here. This is a high spot, so I want to see if there's something. Ooh, I got a coin. <coughs> Ow. Ooh, interesting.
How do I get up here? Yes. Oh, ladder. Wow. Very smart. Uh. What the heck? There's a chest up there. Sheesh. A lot of stuff to get. Oh, like a little temple. How much stuff is there to collect in this temple? How do I get to the higher spots? I realize there's a lot of uh, areas to explore now. Ooh. Okay, what about here? I know this is probably not somewhere you can go, but... Ooh. Cool. That's nice. Alright. Well, we went through there. So let's go ahead and check down here. Click here to teleport out of here. Okay, we just bounce up here. Let's keep my sword out. Nice. All right. Let's keep going. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Can't go in there yet. Will be our next exploration area. I just sworn there's one other place that I need to check first. I think this might have been it. There we go. Nice. Now, was that it? Actually, I think that was. Okay. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, we better get oh. Better get going then. Thirty gold coins. Yes. Shifting sand pyramid. Oh, that closes it. Let's go ahead and put some of this in here. Yeah, that's creepy. Search the pyramid for all of the armor, leggings, chest plate, and helmet. Interesting. Um, I 
guess I just look other places. Somehow. Oh, here we go. Okay, it'll close itself. Good. There you are. Whoa. Well, he just showed me that I can walk through that, apparently. Though I would have uh, tried that out anyway. Sounds like a wall opened the other way. I better check it out. Ah. Uh. 
control file is pretty useful. Okay, let's just uh, put that in our junk. There we go. Grab that. We're good. Let's keep going. Oh! I don't remember getting a key. Also, I didn't really check the stats of these. Strong leather that should last forever. <laughs> leather forever. Uh, sort of true. Not really, though. From the pyramid. Strong leather that lasts forever. Okay, they have the same thing, too. Okay. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Now it makes sense. I wish you could just go like this way, or this would be completely different. You know? Danger. Quicksand. Watch where you step. Beware. Quicksand ahead. Ow. Ow. Okay. I was just testing the waters. This is really hard to see. I want to go there. What the heck is this? Is that like the underworld? This is so creepy. Especially with the music. I think that's what adds the creepy aspect to it. Mimic. Great. It's little stupid chests. Great. No. That is a really cool idea, though. At least I'm not going to open them all at the same time. For the first time I did it, I thought it was like a mechanic. Then I learned that it was actually something. Alright, now I just need the chest plate. What happens if I just go out of the, che out of the chest? Seamless. It's like that, th that chest from Harry Potter, isn't it? What if I open this one now? Sand chest. Alright, now I just need to find the uh, need the chest plate, yeah. Okay, it repeats the dialogue, apparently. Whoa. Wait. Invisible textures or particle. They didn't set a texture to the particles for some of the blocks. I know I had some trouble with my texture pack with that where it wouldn't have the particles showing for some blocks. That's annoying. Especially since they just reconfigured the whole system to work differently than it had before. Okay. Interesting. Gold, I think.
us nothing. Guess he's just um, there to. Whoa! Whoa! What the? What in the heck is this? It has to fit into a two, two wide gap. This is creepy. Old royal scepter. You found an old king's scepter. Yes, chest plate. Adventurous Chris. Yeah. Okay, now I have all the armor. And a scepter, too. What is the scepter supposed to do? Am I giving it to him? Whoa! Hey! Awesome! That's pretty cool. So that's just given to him. And then we get to go on. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, no. This is not good. Or... Or maybe... Uh, okay, let's just do it. Oh. Interesting. I hear a spider. Oh, I hear spiders. <laughs> Since it's daytime, though, they can't really hurt me. I put my coins in here. I don't want that to happen again. Okay. Let's see. Where are you going? Ooh. Perfect. The other map didn't have enough food for me. This one does. Okay. Let's go down here. Um. Uh. Ow. Okay, we just go up here then. Oh no. Oh no. The same thing I said. Pyramid boss, Sandhorns. Seeing out the intruder, my <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> they have no knockback. At least they didn't. That one didn't have any knockback whatsoever. Rise again, my lovely. Wow. Okay. So I just take you out then. Look at the experience, though. We took him out. Oh, golden sand blade, an unbreakable blade, imbued with sharpness from the pyramid. That is pretty cool. Well, this sword should be better than the one I have. Yes, it should. 
Now. Doesn't let me. Okay, good. Perfect. Press to open the gate to Willow Creek Village. Pyramid completed. Awesome. Let's go on. Let's push forward. Onward and forward. Also, I changed up my microphone just a little bit. I was noticing that I could hear the um, fans. Ark, hey, look up. Ark, we meet again. The strange man asked me to watch over you, so here I am, Ark. You should seek out the town steward. Ask around, Ark. Also, look for Tara in the small house here. And the farmer for some armor. Ark will be off then. Okay. Willow Creek Village. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's look for the secrets around here. I just picked up a uh, another vial. It's a vial. So. Who is that below? Is it an intruder? Have you come to steal all the chickens in my oven? Yes. No. Oh. No, I'm not an intruder. My name is Dracometer, and I'm looking for the town steward. Would you know where I can find him? Oh, well. The steward lives in the big house by the graveyard, but he hasn't been seen here for a long time. Hmm. You should ask the mage next door. She might know something. Alright. Also, I did take the chicken, so, uh, you know. Been taking that chicken from everyone. Ooh. I know this is the mage. Let oh. me guess. You have come here to look for the legend of Willow Valley and seek out the wise town steward. Ah, oh. well, hello. I'm Drake here, and I am searching for the sacred land. If I should be speaking to the town steward, do you know where he is? The town steward also went looking for the sacred land and was last seen in the graveyard beside his house. Some believe there is an ancient temple below. Hmm. The graveyard. And I believe it has a clue to the sacred land. If you had a shovel, you could dig under the fence and enter the graveyard. But... But what? I don't own a shovel myself. But maybe you could ask the blacksmith here in this village. If he doesn't have one, he might be able to make you one. Okay, where is the blacksmith? Could you point me in the right direction? Yes. When you leave here, look to the left, and you will see the blacksmith's house. Straight ahead, you should see smoke coming out of his chimney. I will let the blacksmith know you are coming. Here, Hedgewing, I need you to take a letter to the blacksmith. Whoa. That's cool. Hey, I can come back here with you. Nothing in here. It's interesting. That is interesting. I love the voice acting too, that's really cool. Oh, cool. Cool. That, that is some details, I'll admit. I love the details. Oh, here we are, blacksmith. I'm assuming I can't go that way. I mean, I would get stuck in lava or something, knowing how I would do it. Oh, interesting. Blacksmith, now retired. Oh, great. 
Hello, I'm Drake Amir, and I'm trying to enter the graveyard. So Need a shovel to enter. To Could enter you tell me where I make more? That is a secret place. And if you are going to dig in a place like that, I can only make you a shovel with a certain type of secret wood and some cold steel that can only be found in the ancient swamp dungeon. If you bring back these items, I can make you a shovel. Where would I find the swamp dungeon, and how would I enter it? You will need a key to open the dungeon. Wait right here, and I will be back in a second. Okay, good. I was concerned. Oh, I can do that. Here, I just made a key that'll fit most locks and should let you enter a part of the swamp dungeon. Now, to get to the swamp and dungeon. When you leave here, turn left and follow the path southwest all the way to the end and cross over the bridge at the end of the path. If you see a house with a water wheel, you're going in the right direction. So, continue over the bridge and you will see a sign to the swamp. When you enter the swamps, follow the rocks I have placed on the ground before going to the dungeon. The rocks lead to a treasure that you will need to use in the swamp dungeon. The grass might have overgrown a bit now. Some of the rocks may not be as easy to spot until you are closer to them. Anyway, take this book so you don't get lost. It repeats everything I just said. Remember, find the sacred wood and steel, and I can make you a shovel. Also beware in the dungeon. It will be dangerous. Okay. I have a key. And book by the blacksmith. Okay. Nice. Sorry to try to loot you, but I mean, you got stuff laying everywhere. Am I right? Okay, duck. I think I've tried everything. All right. How? Does it just automatically close? It automatically closes the door for me. I don't have to close it. That's cool. What is this? Hmm, maybe there's a clue here. I should check upstairs. And, you know, just kind of loot too. Oh, record player. So there's more stuff to learn, that's for sure. Okay. Looks like almost you could sleep on them. Oh, that's like at the little house that I was at before. At the beginning. Oh, diary. I'm close now. I've been searching my whole life, but I think I found it. I must remember to send a letter before I go to the dungeon below the graveyard. I will lock the graveyard after I enter below, just in case something tries to escape. I'm sure whoever re needs to enter could always use a shovel to dig under the graveyard fence. I think the blacksmith might have one. I need to store some of this extra, or the excess food and stuff. I guess he's not going to really need it anyway, so I'm doing him a favor. These are actually beds? Oh, that is really cool. I wish they would add a couch to the game. That would be kind of cool. Uh. Ow. Yes, I knew it. I thought it closed for me. Maybe 
maybe it's just some doors that close. I remember that person we saw. We should probably talk to them in just a moment. I don't think we need the diary right now, but I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Fifty-fifty, right? All right. Who are you? Oh no! The gates are open, and the cows have escaped. Hey there, you fine person. If you bring back me three cows, I will give you this lovely chest plate. Okay. Here's three cows. Click on a choice. Yes, I'll bring back your three cows. I'm sorry, I don't, but I don't have time right now. Oh, great. Take these leads so you can bring them back. You will find them around the village. When you have bought them back, I will give you this chest plate. Alright. Let's go do this. Oh, oh, hello. Are you going to the swamp? We'll continue over the bridge and you will see a sign. The swamp was sealed but has recently been opened. Okay. Not sure how I know your name, but... Looting. Okay, let's see. I can't actually go up that, unfortunately. Let's see, where is the other cow? Alright. Oh, you've done it! You've returned all me cows! Thank you! Take this chest plate for your hard work! Thank you. That'd be useful. That'd be really useful. Wait, I can't do any more with you, can I? Look, that's it. You should say, you've done all I need you to, so now leave. Or something. I don't know. But I know where the right direction is, I think. Let's see. Did I check this tree out? Each of them seems to have something about them. Right. Very dark. These are like little secret places. So interesting. Lights up during the night. Let's see them. Oh wait, I can't. Okay. Well, we're going on the right direction, that's for sure. Hmm. Well, there should be some rocks here. We could still get back up. For a second, I did think we couldn't. The swampy grove. Oh no, we're gonna fight, like, frogs and slimes? I need more storage. The smaller ones shouldn't hurt me. But if I take these guys out and just leave them as smaller, that means that the mob cap will be where there's none able to spawn. Are 
Are these meant to be frogs? noises that we're hearing. Here's a rock. What? Swamp water. What about it? You mean those poison stuff? rocks. Amazed. I'm just so amazed by this. You know. This is amazing. he said. Well, I followed them and, uh, unless there's something there, I don't know. I see nothing here, so, I don't know. There you are. You want another long travelers? You want another long traveler? Someone that's... I don't know. Okay, you're not alone, apparently. You're the three long travelers. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. But anyways, we have rocks here, so I guess we could kind of... Rock and roll. Yay! Arrows. But what good are they without a bow? Water helmet. Stay underwater for longer when wearing this helmet. Perfect for underwater exploration. Perfect. This helmet should come in handy and these arrows once I find a bow. Well, I should leave here and search the rest of the swamp for the swamp dungeon. Okay, well, let's just follow the rocks back. Is it really raining out there? That would be so cool. Okay, confirmed. Nice. That's really cool. I like it. It should rain more often here. Okay. Where we got that? There was something interesting over here that we saw a witch. I thought we should go check them out and ask them what's about. See if they'll answer us. Ow. Okay, what do you got to offer us? Hello? Ow! You're gonna fight me? What was wrong with you? I thought you were friendly. Stupid witch. Okay, 
I don't have that much room left. There we go. That's my one complaint here. Too much stuff. Not enough space. Okay, I'm not doing a commercial here. I don't need to promote. Okay, I'm getting rid of these. Thank you. Okay, so we just gotta find a place for the key. I've been fortunate enough to not need it that much. Uh, are they drowning? I'm done with you. I'm gonna struggle to figure out if this is the entrance or the exit. I think this is the entrance to somewhere else. Semi big slime. Ow. Don't know exactly how you hit me, but whatever that might be. question is, do we go up or do we go down? Can't go down, so we go up. Interesting. There we go. Alright. Underwater exploration. I guess that's not where they go. Sounds like there's something else here. Right, left, right, right. And you will reach it. Okay. Cheat codes, huh? Okay. Right, left, right. You will reach it. Great for long range attacks and shooting hard to reach buttons. Awesome. Now I have a bow and some arrows. I should go back to the lower entrance of the dungeon and see if I can use my bow somewhere to gain entry. Okay. So we do left, left, right, left. Left, left, right, left. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who turned his eyes? That's a blacksmith. Two. How many black black ew, blacksmiths came through here and got turned over into zombies? Now that sounds like someone. Alright. They're not a problem. Oh, there we go. Thank you. If it wasn't for the slime, I probably would have missed. Swampy Grove Dungeon. I didn't see what it's. Oh, I was just reading my item. Okay. I'm gonna save my bow. So, you know. For a second, I thought they were different sides, but it was just the perspective of where they were standing. Okay. Go. Huh. Let's just go up here. Oh, looky there. Oh no, we have those things too. Like anywhere we need to go. So I see a couple places that we can go. 
first off. Let's go this way. Ow. Okay, let's do that better this time. There we go. Top half gate open. Nice. Let's see what's up here. Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay. bottom half open, so we can get through now, but I want to check out that other place too, just to get us an idea of what else there is here. Plus this looks like a, maybe we get like a ruby or something, I don't know. This reminds me of two maps we've played, obviously um, that lost one, and of course, uh, or uh, not lost, no, uh, I, for I forget what it was, it was like tribe something. And then, um, of course, Lot 21. So, yeah, the haunting of Lot 21, specifically. Okay, let's go up here. I don't know exactly how quickly I'm supposed to be going through this. But I do like a little adventure here. Water extremely fast. Marine boots. Alright, these will help a lot. Oh yeah, they will. XP points, please. This looks interesting, but it's nothing. A door. Oh wow, a door. And I, I do, and I, I want any tricks. Okay, shh, quiet. Okay, go. Oh. Swamp minion, torture. <laughs> up do combat right do weapons only way you can do a weapon in minecraft is with a sword and a bow i really do like that mechanic though in minecraft it's really cool i'm gonna throw these out because i'm obviously not gonna need them nor am i gonna need this uh i don't know why i picked up the helmet i meant to pick up the um this here there we go. Get rid of the junk. And I, I really don't need these fish anymore. This note. I don't really need it. I don't really need it. Okay. And do I need this diary? Oh, 
I'm gonna keep this just in case. And I'm gonna get rid of this. Okie doke. Uh, I think we're good. Interesting. Sacred wood and cold steel by an old miner. Find you some TNT. Ooh. I stumbled across the, some, some cold steel and sacred tree said to be made of sacred wood. I leave this book here to let anyone know who would be searching for the steel that you cannot. Just take it. You need some TNT to blast it. As for the tree, I suppose you could blast it too. Wow. Blast it. I'll do it. Oh. Oh. Whoa. That's cool. Okay, blast. Blast, blast, blast. How oh, do I sink underwater? You can't. Great. If such was the case, I could go under there, but not. It isn't. So, there. Also, something is in the water. A note. Drop note. Let's get out of the water while we read it. How do I get over there? Can I hang from the vines? Vines. Since when can you put vines like this? Whoa. Okay. I wish you could do vines like this. This would be so cool. Especially to be an entrance to a base or something. I'd definitely like them to integrate this ability to just sort of hang from vines off the ceiling. Iron gate open. Okay, uh, I'm trying to remember where that was. Well, I don't really know where it is, but we'll look for it. Iron gate. Oh, yeah, I know now. And we gotta fight you, too. And all your friends. Great. I don't know what the difference between you guys and and that um I guess minion boss or whatever what are. You're pretty much the same as me. Really missed opportunity right there. Being able to go through these. Could have done something interesting with it. But uh yeah. All oh, this is really cool. More arrows. Gotta love arrows, right? <laughs> I don't know why I'm conserving them so much, it's just I feel that I need to. I haven't been too many off the cases where I do need them though, so I suppose. reason I don't want to fall is because it doesn't look like there's a way to get back up. TNT explosives for mining and blasting crack walls. I guess someone just puts TNT in here for some reason. Use this TNT to blast many things, including any of the cracked walls or floors you see throughout the dungeons. Alright. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I had a cracked wall. here. Oh, there's some cold steel. I can use this TNT to mine it from the wall. Just place it against the steel for maximum effect and stand back. There we go. Looks like that TNT worked and mined the steel from the wall. I could take this back to the blacksmith after. Uh, now I need to find the wood and finish this dungeon. Okay. I don't know that would work. Also, can I just put the cold steel in here? and protect it. No, I'm gonna carry it. Uh. 
Okay. Let's see. What does this say? There's a secret in the room with the vines and water below. I found a cracked wall. Alright. Then we will look for that said cracked wall. Let's go ahead and look for it. Can't really see that much. I guess it's down here. Ooh, iron. Strong iron that will last forever. This will be perfect. I was thinking this was the place I needed to go. TNT doesn't work underwater though. It's a cracked wall. Where could the cracked wall be? Oh, there we go. Interesting. Blown away. Ow. You hear an iron gate open in the distance. I know what iron gate that is. Let's go. Danger ahead. Poisonous fish. Use bow and arrow. Sorry about that. Yeah, bow and arrow. Alright. Oh, awesome. Can you waterlog this? I guess it would break the torch though, wouldn't it? Phew. Dangerous fish. Let's take these little guys out. Just waiting for another one. I guess there's another one too? Drowned, great. down here and let's fall interesting we have a gate back here we also have a tree so let's go ahead and mine it this looks like a rare tree where I can get wood I need I should place a block of TNT at the base of it that was probably too much Okay, there's wood. I need to... I need... Now I can go to the blacksmith. I better look around for another way out. I know where there's a way out. I just gotta figure out how to open it. Also, do I really need the TNT anymore? Probably not. But you never know. Inadvertently, I guess. Might have made a hole in the wall? Did I? Oh, yay, it's open. 
Oh, we can go. Now, I wonder what this Willow Valley is going to be like. We're getting pretty close to going to it. And I'm just wondering. Speculating. What do you think? I've got a feeling I've almost checked the whole place. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this place. Swamp Fish Seesaw. I see warriors! Come to my head. Why did it take so long for him to uh, activate? I think we'll just keep sending them out. We need strength potions. the boss and have completed the dungeon. Now exit through the next door. Okay. Sweet. Now I'm going to replace this right here. And uh, heal up. Dungeon completed. Okay, let's get on our way back. Now I have the wooden steel. I should go to the back to the blacksmith so he can make me a shovel. Yes. We'll need it. For sure. Oh, no, you're not. I guess not all of them drowned, unfortunately. But it seems like baby slime can drown. So, interesting. I've never given that such a... I've never given that as consideration for being the truth. Something that can happen. Okay. Don't know what to do with all the items that I have, but... Don't need you. Need the blacksmith. Okay, blacksmith. You found the wooden steel. Now I can make you a shovel. Wait here, and I'll be back in a while. I'm gonna watch you work. No, come on. Okie doke. Mm -mm. I've been waiting. Here, take this sacred shovel and look for some dirt you can dig to get into the graveyard. Once inside, you will need to work out how to enter the place below. I don't know myself, but I'm sure when you're in there, you work it out. I keep the TNT, but I don't need the notes. Alright, well, considering it's so close, I'm not going to be so concerned with it. I actually just guessed. I got really lucky now. It looks like dirt, but it's sand. Alright, this is going to be a moment. Drop note. I found out how to open the dungeon. If I push... What the... What was that? Oh no.
we're gonna wake the undead. What did I push? Oh, here we go. Whoa. Awesome. Mesa Grass Dungeon. Oh no. They kind of get in the way sometimes. Whoops. Um. Ow. Out of my offhand. Okay. Let's go. this door locked locked key three needed oh what I can climb the wall here you unlocked the door below oh cool I didn't know that Sounds like there's more of those stupid things. And I keep getting hit by this skeleton thing. So, anyway. Ow. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Don't forget that. So, what are we doing here? We're looking for a key. Key three. Yes, this might be useful. Mm -hmm. It's useful because it's to that door that we had seen last time. So let's go ahead and check it out. So, to where is the door? It is there. Here. Okay. There we go. Okay, boss fight. Hmm, looks like I'll need to find some ladders to climb up there. Well, I better keep exploring this dungeon then. Alright. Wait. No, 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 no. Okay, let's keep going then. I knew we were going to have to use them again, that is for sure. Anyways. Let's go ahead and Ambush. 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 Oh no. Yeah, you're not going to mug me. Yes. How you like that, mugger? Muggero. Let's see. Um. No. Can't go that way. Key two. Okay, where can I climb up? Or where can I shoot? Oh. 
Yes. I am so smart, I figured out the passcode without even knowing I was doing that. Wow. I'm so lucky here. Key 2, yes. Me too, Key 2. Uh, uh, I don't need your note. I already know. Ambush time. Oh, cracks. Arrows. Nice. We're gonna use those. But let's use our TNT. Happy I kept it. How else would have we gotten through? Oh. Silverfish, but... Oh, wait, no. Endermite. I can tell the difference. You know? Not by sound, but by, um... Appearance and particles. Look at all these particles. It's like particle heaven, right? I, I like the colors, though. I like the purple. It's one of my favorite colorations for it. Okay, there we go. Now, eat up. Darn it. Okay, I think I know where to go, but... I just want to make sure we don't have anything else around here, because there's easter eggs that... Hello? Uh, no. What? The shovel can dig up scary, sacred dirt without disturbing the sleeping, thanks to the sacred wool wood used in the fine craftsmanship. Wait, is that the... Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. 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 Am I sure I can't go any further? I was so sure that I could use this. Oh. Perfect. Won't that arrow go away? I guess it won't matter because it already opened the door. Okay. Nice. We got a whole set of stuff to use. Nice. This is gonna last us a while. Especially since we're so good at fighting, right? No, I'm not really that good at it, but anyway. Let's see. How are we gonna get past here? How are we gonna get past here? Alright, so we need to get into here. First, I need to find a way out of here. And that could be done by looking for something that is not obvious. Like a so. There we go. What might happen if I have if I did not have this shovel? I really don't know. I probably wouldn't get through places, would I? Uh, Alright. I think we're good. Go down here. Boss fight. Calling it. Oh no, it's not a boss fight. It's just a um vine. Okay. Let's do our vine. Right here. Yeah, there we go. Steady. Oh wait, do I have to hold space or not? I thought I did. I'm going to go here. Ooh. Gate open. That sounded weird, didn't it? Alright, let's see. Okay, I don't actually have to hold down space. Whoa. Ow. But I do have to be within proximity of it. Else that happens. Also, I wouldn't hold down shift just because I'm pretty sure that it would actually disable. And yeah, I'm eating an apple while holding on and moving, which is so unrealistic, might I add. You'd have to eat the apple while it's in your mouth somehow. That'd be kind of hard to do. But, uh, he figures out that himself, so, you know. 
I can't shift. Okay, I guess I was fine. Gate opened. So, what's this? Ladders. Yeah, I need those. Okay. Swap those out. Let's get going. I can't shift here. And fall, at least, is why it's meaning. I mean, I could shift, but it doesn't make me fall. Probably could have just fell in the first place. Don't know why I was so concerned with hanging around. You see that, right? see it though, don't you? Hard to see, but nonetheless, I still see it. Right click to talk. Oh, we're going to talk to someone apparently. Either that or it's right now. That means we're really close to uh, that other area where that farmer guy was. go here yet, did we? Ooh, grass blade, forged with willow grass, making it one of the sharpest blades ever made from the grass dungeon. This sword looks really sharp. <laughs> I get you. Nice. Doesn't let me actually push it like that, does it? Okay, I mean, not like it would get stuck or anything, but you know, or you never know, because I don't ask. How could you know? Also, I don't need both pieces of the ladder. I only need one. Okay, you're the the key keeper, right? Nope, just a fast uh, whatever you are skeleton. Yeah. Also, I don't need this sword on me. Um, and we'll just replace it with one of those. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's get going. Around here, if I'm not careful. Um, okay, we go this way. All right, I get you. Oh, interesting. That's really cool. Room. Grumac. Green bug boss. This is really bugging me. Oh, this is a cool concept. If it didn't bug me so much, it'd be much better. Forging your own path. <laughs> A 
right, let's get going. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I like this one. Okay. I like the shoes, though. They have vines on them. Shoes have vines on them. <gasps> this is open. Yeah, the bottom of this can't be open. I mean, it has to be open, rather. Wow. Hey! Flip that lever so I can get out of here! I have been searching for the legend of Willow Valley for over 20 years now. And when I discovered there was a village named Willow Creek Village, I thought this must be the place. So I came here and I bought this big house here so I could search below the radio. But after running into some monsters, I ran the other way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I noticed the others at once for once. <laughs> anyway, young adventurer, I was trying to escape that creature you just beat and foolishly locked myself in the ear. Wow. I managed to dig out some dirt behind me that leads to a tunnel. But I found two pressure plates, and as hard as I tried, I could not press two at the same time. But now that you're here, we can stand on the plates and see what happens. Could this be the secret of Willow Valley? Follow me. You stand on the left plate, and I'll stand on the right one. And then we'll see if all my clues were right, and this is the right place. You're tricking me, I know it. Oh, and I'm sorry if you hear rain. It's just stormy. Looky here. You coming? <laughs> the clown took it out of me. <laughs> Don't worry about me. We need to continue forward. All right, onward and forward. Oh no. What do we do now? Here, why don't you take some of my potions? You can use them. <laughs> I know you can't take them. Okay, stand back! I have a fire pen I found long ago! It has the same symbol as the door! I knew it! If you have got that power, why didn't you use it to escape the jail cell? But if I had not turned up, you could have died here, so luckily I showed up. No! Not luck! You see, when I heard about your adventures across the lands, I knew you couldn't resist an unsolved mystery. So before I left my house and went into the grass dungeon, I sent you a letter about the legend of Willow Valley. Then I knew you would come. Okay, the fire scene was finished. Let's go! Phew, for a minute there I thought you were going to say you're a wizard or something like that. Okay. Whoa. What is this? Wait for me. I'm almost there. Look at his eyes, they're bloodshot. Is this what you were looking for? I 
can't move forward. This is it! I cannot believe it! We found it! Legend of Willow Valley? So, what's this place? Meant to be. Map complete. Interesting. Is there nothing I can look for here, though? I like little secrets? Wow. This is pretty cool. The pond of healing is ahead. Alright. I want to look for it. Whoa. Look at these pigs and sheep. Look at these apples. Oh, sacred apple. Whoa. This is so cool. Sacred apple? Whatever these things are. Wow. There's a lot of sacred apples. I didn't even get them all. I wish you could pick them from the tree. Interesting. What does this do? Not very much different, does it? So... Let me just check over here real quick. Oh, is that a rabbit? Are you there? Pink and a green rabbit. How interesting. Whoa. These flowers have some bright, colorful uh, aesthetics to them. Let's check this out. Health, hunger, restored. Uh, hello, I'm the great water fairy. Drinking from the pond restores all health and hunger. I can even give you life. <laughs> uh, I will be off then. Huh. Interesting. Whoa. It's about I'm out of room. Cave of endless riches. Whoa. Look at this cave. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. Look at this apple. Sheesh. Okay. Also, if you want to check out the commands using the map, go to Spectre and and fly around. Whoa, we have diamond armor now. Let's just put this on. There we go. Get rid of all this stuff. Diamond shovel. Diamond, diamond. Diamond, diamond, diamond. There we go. Huh. Interesting. Wow. Guess we found it. So, anyways though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go ahead and leave a like if you did enjoy. And maybe consider subscribing if you have not already. And hitting the notification bell to stay notified of my videos when they are uploaded. Also, maybe consider... Oh no, I hope it didn't... Okay, good. But also, maybe consider going and checking out my second channel. NCS Gaming, where you can get no commentary videos if you're interested in moles. Anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.